we're just heading across the street to 20th and 6th to Blick Art Materials. Okay. Which means, uh, in German, Blick means to see. Um, it's, the, it's the expression on your face. Oh, learn something but new. Blicken, Blicken is to, uh, to look at something. Here we go. Yeah, so the origami stuff is actually on the first floor. I thought it, I thought it was downstairs. Larger sheets, which mm -hmm. is always great to have. Yeah, these are 60 sheets. This is mesh. Interesting. I'm sure it's really difficult to fold with, but you could have some stunning effects from it. Wait, I've never seen mesh origami paper before. I I, I think someone emailed me wow. about it actually and sent me a photo, but he said that it was really difficult to work with. Mm -hmm. But it looked really stunning. Yeah. So sometimes you put in that extra effort and then some um, washi and then Japanese patterns and more even with like gold accents really nice mm -hmm. and foil and more even foil double sided foil is really nice different colors and then just a uh, japanese foil which is like thinner and usually white on one side mm -hmm. very nice and then i wanted to circle back to this part this is what is it lacquer wood origami paper yeah, it's actually wood. texture touch this like yeah, I can see it's raised. It's probably a bit thicker and look, I, I really like the black and brown one too. Mm -hmm. Although I'm guessing it looks like it's quite, because it's lacquer, it's kind of plasticky. But just the raised part, the part below looks like normal paper. So it mm. might be... This is very interesting. Nice. I've never seen this before either. And look at this beautiful design right here. The blues and the purples. Yeah, these the are great. These are wonderful. Always, they're beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Same with this one. I really like them. Yeah, right here. Great for butterflies and just like just anything that takes pattern really well. And down the we stairs, found we found some more origami stuff. Let's take this origami playhouse. We saw this at the uh, at Michael's too. Oh no, the other no. store. Yeah, we saw that at the other store, the first store we went nice. to. Yeah. Oh, that's quite adorable. I when like the color scheme. Yes. Look at Lots cat. of different um, furniture. So you could make your own dollhouse mm -hmm. furniture. Yeah, and that one we saw at Michael's. And that. Found some paper at the edge of the store. <laughs> and the guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> because we are. <laughs> Let's be honest, we are. Mm -hmm. Paper nerds. Oh, wow. I love it. These are very thick. There's some here, but this is probably more like cardstock. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's really nice right. because these are cut to square. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, this is, look, this is actually really nice. Yeah, and, and look at the golden accents. I love that. When you know you, you kind of it reflects the light when you move it, mm -hmm. and then you can go crazy with these. Yeah, I have some these of this are paper. hard to fold though. They they're not they don't stay. They don't stay as nicely because it's it's kind of. Um, plastic. This would stay. Oh, this, oh, this is beautiful. This I think feels this almost like the, the tissue foil that Nicolas Tony um, sells. Interestingly enough, this, yeah. this would fold awesomely. And then you have th these m must be handcrafted because these are marble papers. Oh, yeah. So every single one's going to be different. Every single one is going to be different. These are more difficult. These you might yeah, want to treat with um, MC or something like that to make it a bit crisper and then mm -hmm. you can fold with it. And I love it when you see the paper fibers. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. And then you have all oh. of the... Oh my gosh, a whole larger wall sheets. of paper here. And the, those are hand handmade papers. And then the paper fibers aren't aligned, and that makes it really good for wet folding. Because when the paper fibers aren't, aren't aligned, because you kind of handmade the paper, then the paper will expand in every direction about the same. Whereas when you have machine-made paper, all of the fibers are aligned, and so then the paper stretches in one direction more than the other, and then it's a bit more difficult to fold when you wet fold. Oh. Look at these, these are gorgeous. The ones with the little Flowers? leaves and fi yeah, fibers sticking out. Yes. 
Yeah, but, uh, but those are those are more difficult to code with because when they add, it's not just the paper fibers, they actually add flowers and leaves to them. Ah. So um, it sometimes breaks and it comes off while you're folding and the paper will be thicker in those places. So um, it's beautiful, but it's a bit more difficult to work with. But uh, this kind of stuff is amazing, but you have to treat it. Mm -hmm. And this is like, it's paper, but it's like fabric. You can yeah, see it looks like cloth. It, yeah. So much paper. All of this is like natural, and you can always see by the deckle edge that it's probably handmade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the edges right over here. Yeah, they're like these frayed edges. It's, it's the deckle edge, and uh, and to me, when I have these kind of sheets, I try not to cut off the edge. But like, if you're doing a tessellation, um, you just keep it on, and it looks so much more beautiful. And check these guy, uh, guys out. What? These are drawers and drawers, drawers and drawers and drawers full of paper. See here, you can, you can um, if you feel over it, you can really see how it raises. And ah, yeah. the paper is just thicker there. So if a crease goes through here, chances are that maybe it kind of peels off a little. So yeah. um, if you know it and you're careful, you can then deal with it. But if um, you don't, you might be a bit surprised. So there's lots and lots of paper <laughs> to explore. And to love, um, you can spend lots of time here. Also, more plain paper, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this! Look at this is a this work is, of art right here. This is um, kind of the elegant version of Jeremy Schaefer, don't you think? <laughs> I gotta cut that out. No, you don't. <laughs> the elegant version of Jeremy because, Schaefer. No, Are Jeremy you watching Schaefer, this? Jeremy Schaefer is like. <laughs> Fun in life, right? Yes. And and this is kind of I I think it's just mm -hmm. so elegant and, and beautiful. It to me in some ways it is fun, but it doesn't really look fun anymore. But just like totally stunning. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fold this. You want to put this in a picture frame. Yes, hang and hang it on, it on a wall. wall. Exactly. That's what you want to do with this paper. Yeah. I love. Uh -oh, my Sarah fell in love <laughs> with this sheet of paper. I need to buy it. <laughs> Even I though she said she wasn't it. going to buy anything. Because it's hard to transport. Mm -hmm. but hey. I wanted to show you guys these tubes here. I love these tubes. The colors are so fun. They used to have purple ones and um, like just different colors. But, whoops. <laughs> but it's like a plastic like tube that you just transport your paper. Yeah, and in. this is the I mean, this strap is too. Perfect way of transporting this, right? Mm -hmm. Just so. yeah. and slip it in. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> a little too deep. But yeah, I really like this because it's just pla it's like better than the cardboard ones, and it also has a beautiful color to and it. See through. So here we are. I don't know the address. What's the address, Jenny? The address is 18th Street between Fifth and Sixth Avenue. And this is paper presentation. And I love awesome this store. The look how already. yeah, look how deep it is. It goes all the way. I don't know if you guys can see I it see because paper. of the reflection. I see. But it goes all the way down. So we're just going to head in there right now. Exactly. We're at the back of the store and this is the stuff we're talking about. Ah! This is quite heavy stuff, but over here. Mm -hmm. Look at that paper fibers shiny sheets. I love this kind of stuff. And usually um, when you have like such stunning paper, coat something very simple from it because the paper needs to be the star in some ways. Mm -hmm. So if you have a complex model and you use something that is very intricate, I think it um, takes, takes away, away from yeah. each other. Whereas when you take something simple have and have stunning paper, it's really going to enhance it. Or if you have a more complex model, you put, take something in a, a single color. Like even when you have these handmade ones, they're going to not be solid color, right? They're yeah. going to have slight differentiation. And then I think it's great again. So, you know, kind of always think about what you're folding and which paper goes best with it. Gorgeous. I also love this. Really like uh, these kind of... Oh, yeah. Um, horizontal and vertical. Oh, you always have to resist this temptation of buying paper <laughs> and then having it in the shelf 
and not folding anything with it because you think it's too beautiful. <laughs> because then no oh, one sees it, right? Of that, yeah. But then no one sees it, so you have to fold it. Buy it and fold with it. I did that for a couple of years and then I decided, no, I'm just going to fold it with this beautiful paper and it's so worth it. Oh wow, there's a sign! Yay! <laughs> And they have some sheets, but to be honest with you, compared to all of the other awesome paper they have, let's see. I wouldn't go for this. I go for the stuff over there. Yeah. I definitely, although you know, the foil mm -hmm. and the patterns are nice, but to me, the other stuff, which is much more expensive, I'm sure, mm -hmm. is just so much more stunning. But this is a, a interesting size paper, though. This is. 11.75 centimeters yeah. by 11.75 yeah. centimeters? Four and five eighths of an inch. Very weird, but well, why pretty not? cute. Why not? Yeah. And then on the back over here, I think I saw some paper culling items, which um, is super fun too. It's not Quilling, really quite yes. origami, but you know, and you can buy a bunch of And here are the stylists again, mm -hmm. which I was saying like are great if you're doing like pre-creasings like um, for tessellations and stuff yeah. like that. And this is actually to help with the quilling to put the paper in place so it doesn't ah, yes. move around. Um, and this is to, the so quilting tool, shape. right? It kind of looks like the stylus, but it's uh, a bit different. Yeah. You can think you can put in the paper so that it doesn't unroll while mm -hmm. you're rolling it. Yeah. And then we have some scrapbook paper here, printed paper. But um, I don't like these at mu as much because there's this little edge at the side that you need to cut off. You need to cut which it I think off. is very annoying, yeah. but this print is very quite cute. It's also a bit uh, heavier. Hello, fishies! fishies. These, these are actually really know, cute. Aren't they adorable? And then I found this uh, PVC paper which actually has polka dots on them so that's pretty cool. Uh, these are bad because I mean I like them but it's hard for them to hold shape but it's just you know very cute. And they have striped ones in the bottom. So this, this mint green slash aqua colored one is quite nice too. We have some more here. Yeah. It's really nice. This is the kind of stuff I use. You know the, the paper packs, the normal origami paper packs, mm -hmm. they're nice and good. Like if you just want to do some quick bows or simple bows. But if you go for something that's really going to be stunning, I much prefer this kind of stuff. It's a bit harder to fold with, but it's so worth it. I bought this because I wanted to try it out. I just never did. I know also exactly where it is, but... I've heard some good things about this one, but I don't... I personally have never tried it, I don't, or I don't, I don't have it either. I don't know. I know some people swear by it and that it's easier to cut with these. But this one's also nice, so if you're putting together modulars, mm -hmm. these can be really helpful in putting them together. Yeah, so. they help to hold them in place. And they're also tiny enough to get into the yeah. little nooks and crannies. Exactly, so. because they're really narrow. So I have some others which are metal, and those are nice too, but these um, are sometimes just metal. Yeah. So. Wait, a <gasps> triangle score guy? What? I didn't know these existed. Actually, that sounds really Listen. cool. Bird? But, like, um, how does it work? Uh, oh, I know. You know, uh, uh, it's probably something you put onto that scoring board uh, so that you, you get the angles. Maybe it's... I don't know. You can always read the instructions. It's, uh, but I don't know how... It, are they all the same angles? Apparently, it's... 60 degree angle and maybe somehow you can modify it to a 30 degree angle or something like that maybe but this is pretty cool i've never seen a triangle score guide before yeah. the great thing about these is usually they have one one piece for cutting and then another one for scoring so if you need to score a lot you can use those and they come in very various degrees of fancy we're looking at paper boxes right now so these are great yeah. for storing origami paper, they're, they're, they're um, not, but this they're one not, is... They're too small for six inches. Yeah, this one's too small, but there's also larger ones. So these look like they might fit A4 paper. Yeah, or, or letter. pretty cool. Yeah. And then we have much thinner ones. Oh, the little cute ones because right the, there. The, the, the smaller sheets you usually have like a huge pack because you often use them for modulars. For the larger sheets, I like to have them a bit narrower so mm -hmm. it's not too many stacks. Yeah. Like this one, for example, look how narrow this is. That's perfect. Yeah. 
because otherwise you have to like dig your hand all the way in and yeah, then exactly. the, the edges get wrinkled yeah, and exactly. it's just super annoying so but these this are cool nice. and this would be a nice um, size to put the uh, papers vertically you know yes. what I mean so you could just stack them along like a bunch of post-it notes would look oh, so really cool have tools or something like that and yeah I them in oh here. yeah that's a good idea too and then we have more boxes in the back the store a is more absolutely crazy they have boxes stacked all the way up to the ceiling you see that I'm pretty sure it looks like it oh yeah and I like the color selection too the mint green and they also have pattern ones aren't these adorable for gift wrapping and also obviously for paper storage too <laughs> yes for circle paper we have circle boxes they're good for presents too, to mm -hmm. give away stuff, right? Yeah. And then in the back we have washi tape. Yay, washi tape. Yay. And um, these nice jewelry boxes here. Some jewelry boxes. Or if you're like if you're giving away a model, it's always nice to put it in a box. Oh yeah, I do that. And if you if you want to be really nice, you can also you put in a sheet of the size that you used just to to have it look nice in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And like and a little background, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I have this roll at home, I think. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at washi tape right now, and I love washi tape, but um, um, I really can't buy that many because I have I've way got, too much. And I've got just a plain gold like this one, but in this width. Mm -hmm. Those are the two rolls I have at home, I think. Paper straws and paper bags and paper everything. So now we're just walking around in Madison Square Park. Hi! <laughs> and then we discover these really cool, I think these are, what are these made out of? Like, like aluminum or metal metallic. And it basically, yeah. And it basically just kind of hovers up above the park. So. It's like a tree. Oh like yeah, you're right. And then you can see at the end there's more. We're actually walking to a restaurant called the Little Meat Table. Uh, so we're going to have lunch uh, uh, there. A much deserved break, right? Yes, yes. We've been walking since, what, 8.30 in the morning today. And now it's 1.10 and I'm pretty hungry. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so we're going to go have some lunch and then uh, we'll update you soon. Oh, here we are! Look at the little beat tape. Oh, look at this cute little sign. Sarah's in love with it. It's so adorable. And we're gonna go in and eat. So, we're getting ready to eat. We have delicious food here. And I got, um, what is this? A kale, white bean soup, some fish tacos. Um, Sarah got some mushrooms. And what is that? Uh, kale fish. Kale fish. Uh, no, well, I, I don't know, some kind of fish. Some kind of fish. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna enjoy our lunch, and then after that, Sarah is actually going to take over. So she's gonna take over the origami paper tour uh, of New York. And uh, so make sure you go check her channel out for the part two of the video. It's going to be great. So we're going to Chinatown. Going to um, a place called Elizabeth Center. We're going to Jam Paper, and yeah, just go check it out, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>